Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last two videos, I have shown you how to connect a combo box with the database values. So I have shown you in the ninth video, I think, how to populate this combo box with the database values. And in the last video, I have shown you how you can uh, select some values from the combo box and show the corresponding values for this uh, name, for example, in these text boxes. So you can choose any values and the corresponding values to that name will appear in these text boxes. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with the list box. So how to populate the list box, I will show you first and then how to uh, select any value in this list box and show the corresponding value in this form, in these text boxes. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is I will take a list box tool from here. This is a list box and basically list box and the combo box functionality is same. But the list box will give you whole list and you will be able to see the whole list from the list box. And the combo box, it's retractable or you know, you can collapse and expand con combo box. It's a bit, this is the basic difference. Otherwise, the functionality is almost the same. So, in the video number nine, what I have shown you how to connect your database value with the combo box, right? So, if you don't know uh, how I've done that, just watch the video number nine because I'm going to just use the same code from the video number nine, okay? So I will select my form as a whole and double click. And this was the code I have written in the video number 9. And this was the code which we have used to populate the combo box from uh, the name values. Okay. Now in order to populate the list box, it's the same thing. Right. In your form load ev event, this code uh, will remain the same. The connection, we are opening the connection. We are creating the command, we are providing the connection to the command and we create the query in which we write select first name which we want to show in the list box or the combo box from your table name and then we uh, pass this query to the command and then we will read the value on the basis of this query and we will read while we have this data. Okay. So what you need to do here is just take the name of your list box, okay, as you have done with the combo box and just paste it below your combo box, which I have shown you in the ninth video, right? And just write dot sorry dot items dot add it's the same thing as you have written in the combo box with you just need to just change the name combo box with the list box right now when i run the program and login and password you see all the values are listed in this list box right so the functionality of the list box and this combo box are same, but the list box shows you all the values in front of you and this combo box is expandable and collapsible. Okay. So you don't see all the values at this, uh, when it's collapsed. Now in order to, in order to show the values in the text box, Right, I have uh, like I have done with the combo box like this. So, for example, I choose some values and the corresponding values will come in this uh, in these uh, text boxes. The same functionality I can do it with this list box. So, for example, you will choose some val values in the list box and the corresponding value should appear in the text box. It's also really very simple if you have watched my last video. Okay. So in the last video, what I have done is I have just double click this combo box 
and in that combo box uh, selected index changed event I have written this code ok so just watch the last video I explained all the things in the last video and just go to the list box double click it and paste it here ok and this is this is the same code which will work for uh, the list box also the only change you need to do is you need to change the name in here so the query or query was select select star or asterisk from your table name where your column name in our case its first name is equal to earlier it was combo box but right now it will be the list box right so just go to the list box copy the name of the list box which is list box 1 and paste it here okay and everything or in the code will remain the same from this try block to the end of this catch block right once again run the program and when I select some name you see the corresponding values will come here ok so in this way you can either use combo box or the list box to uh, manipulate your database values now in the next video I am going to show you how you can connect your database with a table or data grid view so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now